What's up guys? So the other day I put on my Instagram story, basically asked me some questions and I'll, I'll answer them in a video. And loads of you have asked me a load of questions, so I'm gonna go through them, try and answer as many as I can in like 10 minutes or so. And yeah, so anyway, let's have a look at those. If you do wanna follow me on Instagram, by the way, you can. I am at the darts referee over on Instagram. If you're brand new to this channel, please do subscribe. And anyway, let's have a look at some of these questions and let's just rattle through as many of them as I can. Okay, so first and last game you ref. So the first game I ever refed was uh, it was Dennis Ovens versus uh, Michael Barnard. I don't remember the last game I, I ever refed. How do you become a tree surgeon? So I become a tree surgeon by working for a tree surgery company, and then inside I needed to go get my tickets. So I went and did an intensive course, which took like four months, and now I'm a tree surgeon. Uh, how much are the new darts going to cost? I don't know, to be completely honest. I think they're going to cost something like uh, 40, 45 quid maybe. Would you be a professional player if it wasn't for dartitis? Now, I believe that I could have been. Uh, when I was younger, my my, my goal was to be a professional dart player. So having dartitis at like 12, 13 years old did kind of make a bit of an impact on that. So perhaps, you never know, you never know. Do you support a football team? I support West Ham. We had a good win the other day against Chelsea and that'll probably be it for the rest of the season. We'll probably finish four from bottom, just missed relegation. And that's, that's the West Ham way of doing things. In five years time, who do you think will be number one in darts? I think Michael Van Gogh will still be number one. Who's your favorite darts walk-on song in the PDC? For me, I love Phil Taylor's one. I think Phil Taylor's has got the best walk-on in darts history. Uh, currently though, I would say like Adrian Lewis. I like Adrian Lewis' walk-on, I think that's pretty cool. How tall are you? I'm 14 and I'm 6'2". Well, well done to you. I am 27 and I'm about five foot nine, maybe five foot 10 in a decent pair of shoes. Do I get sponsored or do I put my own money in? Can I order some flights from you? Uh, I don't get sponsored. Um, I'm working with a company coming up, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but I do use my own money, so you can buy some flights in a little while. Flights will be available soon for purchase. I've given a few sets away here and there, but like actual flights will be available for purchase pretty soon. What day is your favorite day? My birthday, May the 5th, by the way. If you didn't ref, what would you have done? I probably would have just continued doing my regular life. I, it didn't really affect my normal life, to be completely honest. So not a lot would have changed if I didn't ref. I certainly wouldn't be doing this though, that's for sure. How did you and Bob's meet? So my girlfriend and my sister, they both worked together before I met Bob's and I met her through who, through my sister. If you could watch any game from the past again live, what would it be and why? Live is in the fact that I was actually at the stadium or at the arena or at the, the venue, uh, the Barney Phil Taylor final from 2007 PC World Championship. Championships for sure. I'd love to be there. That would be insane. What do you think the best way to make it to county is? Um, so Super League. Super League is the best way of getting into county. Do well in Super League and you'll get noticed and they'll pick you up for sure. How much is Bob's highest checkout? Um, I don't know actually. Uh, so I know she's checked out like a 90 something. Probably about 90-ish I reckon. Have you ever been close to a 9 data? Um, close as in uh, proximity. I've, I've marked for 4 9 daters. I've actually marked for 5 9 daters, but Adrian Lewis didn't count. I might do a video on that one day. Um, but no, personally I've gone 7 in. I missed trouble 19, but I did hit the double 12 anyway. So I've been kind of close. Does pineapple belong on pizza? I don't think so. To attempt Q school, would you say you need a minimum average of about 85? Um, yeah, I've actually made a video on this before. Uh, I did like how good you have to be to go to Q school. Um, the average you have to be sort of playing at the moment on a steady level, it's not as high as you think. An 85 average is definitely good enough to play Q school 100%. If you had two minutes to give life advice to someone, what would it be? So my advice would be to do what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about something, try it, do it. If it doesn't work out, you can go back to something else. But if you get into the future and something that you're passionate about and you don't do it and you regret it, then that's time that time that you could have been spent doing something that you actually loved and now you're working in a crap job. I really wanted to do YouTube and I pushed it out and pushed it out and pushed it out and now I'm doing it and I love it. How many 180s? I reckon I've hit over a thousand 180s in my lifetime but I have been playing since I was nine. I think I hit my first 180 when I was like 10 or something so I've been I've had 17 years worth of hitting 180s. Quite new to darts. Invested in a proper board already. What do you reckon next? Darts. Love your content. Um, yes get some darts. Uh, I, I probably would have got the darts before the board, but now you've got the board, go ahead, get yourself some darts. Give it a few weeks, because there might be a certain darts referee dart coming out soon. So I'd wait for those, but yeah, get yourself some darts. That's definitely the, the next thing to do. Greatest movie you've ever watched. I am not, I'm not a massive movie person. My favorite film of all time is Role Models. Um, but yeah, is it the greatest movie I've ever watched? I don't know, but it makes me laugh, so I'd say that. Darts Lighting Systems recommendations, best price, don't want to spend lots. Uh, I don't really know. I have a Target Corona and that is very good. It was about 60 quid. If that's out of your range, then I would suggest trying to make your own um, or just putting some, some lights on the ceiling above where your board is. But yeah, 
I don't really know if you could get a really decent one for a very, very low price, so I, I don't really, not really sure. 60 quid, 50 quid, something like that. Do I like L-Style? Yeah, L-Style's good. I don't personally use L-Style, but I think their stuff is quite good. I think it's a little bit expensive. It's a bit too expensive for me, but yeah, they're all right. Don't hate them. Would you ever do a live video on Insta with Edgar or any other dark players? Yeah, yeah, I would. If people wanted to see it, then I would. If someone wanted to see it, someone had an interest to do a video, a live video with me, then yeah, I'd, I'd jump on. Why not? Tips for newbies. Practice a lot. Do lots and lots of practices. Check out my practice routines videos that I've uploaded. They should help you a little bit. When you start playing darts. So I started playing darts probably when I was about eight or nine. And then I hit my first one eight when I was like about 10 or 11 or something. So yeah, I was very, very interested in darts at a very young age. But then I had dartitis and it all went downhill from there. Does flight size matter? I think so. It depends how you throw the dart really. It depends how you want the dart to throw as well. Uh, the trajectory that in which you're trying to throw the dart. It's all going to depend on the flight that you use. I like a standard flight. I like a nice big standard flight. I don't like pair flights or kite flights or anything like that. I find that they don't make my darts fly very well. So yeah, flights do matter, but it's all personal preference. Would you ever consider Q school? Uh, I would do if I was good enough. If if I if I genuinely could say to myself, Jack, you're a good enough dart player now, go to Q school, then I would. What's the biggest match you've ever marked, and how did it go? Um, the biggest match I've ever marked, probably, <laughs> probably Phil Taylor. Any of Phil Taylor's matches because they're a big deal to me. How did they go? One of them went terribly. If you want to find out about that, go and find one of my previous videos, one of the first videos I uploaded. Go find that. You'll find out exactly what happens during that incident. Advice on what to do at 15 years old with darts. Practice a lot, keep practicing, try and get yourself in the youth team, try and get yourself playing youth county, and yeah, you'll be fine. Have I been to any darts tournaments? Yeah, been to loads and loads of darts tournaments. Would you consider playing on the challenge tour for a year? Um, not right now, no. If I was good enough, if I, like a, like a previous question, if I thought I was good enough to play Q school, then I would definitely play the challenge tour if I didn't get a tour card. Did you enjoy being a ref? Would you do it again? I loved being a ref, and I wouldn't do it again. Rarest Pokemon card. I don't actually have that many rare Pokemon cards, but probably the shiny Charizard, that one. People love the Charizard. What's the one thing you hate about darts? Um, to be honest, there's not a lot I hate about darts. The people are pretty good. The game's quite fun. I probably hate the fact that I have to drink a lot to play darts. That really bugs me, but other than that, I love darts. Have you got any other sports you'd like to play other than darts? Um, to be honest, not really. I don't really play any other sports at the moment. I haven't played any sports in a, in a little while. Uh, I used to be a massive, massive basketball fan, so I used to play basketball a lot, but I'm 5'9". I'm not tall enough for basketball. Could you do an LI Darts webcam tournament? If you guys want an LI Darts webcam tournament, let me know in the comment section below and I could potentially make a video or make a competition um, with my subscribers. Let me know if you want me to do that. What age do you start playing your darts yourself? About eight or nine. What is your favorite moment in darts? My favorite thing I've ever done myself in darts is a 170 checkout during a match. That was pretty special, but as far as professional game goes, I don't know really. I know you have a card collection in the back. What is it? They are generation one Pokemon cards. Is Darts Referee a good paid job? It depends on where you live because you have to pay for your own travel, you have to pay for your own accommodation, you have to pay for your own food. So if you live near the venue, then yeah. If you don't live near the venue, which is the case for me pretty much everywhere, uh, no, not really. I mean, it pays, It you kind of break even sometimes, sometimes you spend more than, than you earn, but it's more to do with the experience, not the pay. What was it like starting YouTube from nothing? Mm, I don't know, it was odd. I didn't expect to do as well as I am doing at the moment. Um, I definitely thought that by the end of this year I might have like 2,000 subscribers. I'm now at like 16,000 subscribers. So we're doing pretty well. Um, it was, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I started my, my channel at a decent time just before the World Championships. And yeah, World Championships sort of get, got me to 1,000 subs. And then you guys out there, anyone who joined after the World Championships, thank you so much for subscribing. And you guys have kind of carried me all the way since. Who do you think will be in the PDC World Top 5 in 10 years time? Uh, Michael Smith, Michael Van Gerwen, um, who else will probably be there? Chris Doby, maybe Jeffrey Deswan, people like that. I, I couldn't give you a definitive answer because I'd have to really think about it. There's some, like, there's some thing, people who may be top five. Apart from your 170, what's your best out shot? I once hit a 153 uh, in, a, in a match and I also lost it 2 1. Um, but I won the highest checkup for that as well. I've got a little trophy up there as well. Best darts practice games. Um, up 10, down 1, uh, 1, 2, 1, um, round the clock with the weird little variation. Check out my video, Practice Routines. They're all in there. They're all good. Favourite player from the North East? 
Doby. Hardest and easiest player to mark for. Um, hardest, hardest player to mark for. I've always said Yella Klassen and Jamie Caven are particularly difficult to mark for because they're, I feel like they're the only two people in the room whose darts maths is actually better than mine. Uh, so they're hard to mark for. Easiest player to mark for, without a doubt, is Adrian Lewis. He literally, even if you call the scores out, he will tell you what he's scored every single time. So he's so easy. Plus, it's just ton, 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 ton 40, ton, ton, ton 80, ton, ton. He's really easy to mark for. Could James Wade ever win a World Championships? Um, I wouldn't say anymore, no. If you'd asked me 10 years ago, I'd have said without a doubt, but I feel like he's got a little bit off the boil and I think the competition is too good for him to win a World Championship now, but mm, no, I wouldn't say that. How did you get into darts? What age were you and what was the first match you ever saw? First match I ever saw, I believe it was uh, a Dennis Priestley match in a World Championships. I don't remember, I just have this vivid image of seeing Dennis Priestley on TV. Um, and then how did I get into darts? My granddad was into darts, so I used to go play darts with him in his garage when I was probably like seven or eight years old. And then that's when I decided that I wanted to start playing darts. So I got bought myself and put it on the back of my wardrobe. Smashed the wardrobe to pieces, got loads of holes in it, but eventually I turned into a pretty good dart player. Who inspired you with YouTube? So this is a random one because I had a channel before this channel. And if anyone used to watch Call of Duty videos, uh, it's actually Ali A. Yeah, so Ali A is the one who made me think that I should make a YouTube channel and it started off with, with Call of Duty and Fortnite and it then progressed into darts, so yeah. Who inspired me to make the darts channel? I kind of inspired myself. I had the had the drive to make another channel and I didn't know what to do it on and I decided on darts, so yeah. Ali A and me. Top inspiration darts player growing up? Priestley, yeah. Taylor. Um, also Van Gogh when I was a little bit older, um, when Van Gogh was about 17 years old, he was my favourite dart player in the world back then. Um, when he like, he done the nine dart against Barney and he won the Masters or whatever it was against, um, against what's his name, old Martin Adams. Yeah, I've been a big fan of Van Gogh for a long time, so yeah, but beginning like Priestley and Taylor. First set of darts that were tungsten, um, I don't actually remember what they were, they were like probably about 25, 26 grams. They, they were knurled all the way along and they had rings in them. I bought them off one of those darts cards you get in pubs and stuff. They weren't a great dart, but they were right. they got me started. Most underrated darts player of last year? I don't know. I can't say, to be honest. Maybe, maybe Chris Doby, I thought Doby, or Luke Humphreys. They did pretty well. Dimitri Vandenberg had a good year as well. So, maybe one of them. Do you think Peter Wright will ever be world number one? Uh, I think he can be world number one, but he needs to win the match play because Van Gogh is not defending much for this match play and then he needs to win the Worlds again. So if he does those two, then I think he can be world number one by the beginning of next year, potentially. When did I get Luna? We got Luna literally two days before lockdown happened. It was like middle of March, towards the end of March. And uh, yeah, that's when we got Luna. Am I a good driver? Yeah, I'm a fantastic driver. Very, very safe. Very, very, very safe. My girlfriend, Bob's, is a bit, a bit of a crazy driver, but don't tell her that. If someone paid you 50k to never play or even touch a dart again, would you accept? Um, I probably wouldn't actually because I feel like my channel has got a lot more potential than £50,000. So if you'd asked me this a few few years ago or a year ago or something before the channel, then I probably would have said yes and taken it and spent my 50 grand. Um, but now I actually think I can earn a lot more money out of darts than 50 grand. So no, I wouldn't do that. No. What's the highest you've ever averaged? So we don't really record averages very much ever. You're doing Super League, but I don't really play Super League anymore. But once I recorded an average of 34.02, which is my one dart average, so like 102. Uh, I actually lost that game 2-0. It was the best of three, and I missed two darts at a double. So best average, best average I've ever had, and I lost 2-0. Do you wish you were still a darts referee? No. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you enjoy YouTube? So for me, it fluctuates a lot. If I'm doing well, it's a 10. If I'm doing badly, it's probably like a 4 or a 5. Uh, but overall, I, I enjoy doing it. It's fun, and yeah, I do enjoy it. So so overall, I'd probably say about an eight or a nine. What's your favorite darts venue? My favorite darts venue would probably have to be Ali Pai. Do I want children? I think yes, I definitely do want children at some point. Uh, I've kind of got this like purpose. I feel like I've gained this purpose and like, this like this like care for another life since we've got the little dog. So yeah, I definitely do want children at some point. How much further do you think the technology in darts will go? So I feel like. I feel like the technology in darts at the moment is kind of limited to the to the rules of darts. Um, but I feel like at the moment we're about as we're about where we're going to be. I can't see the technology getting any better, but I'm sure that's what they said about cars and about PCs and computers and stuff 50 years ago. So who knows? Favorite dart of all time. My favorite dart of all time is probably the darts that I'm currently using. If I didn't pick these, I'd say Adrian Lewis Unicorn Dart. So 
those or, or the Sean Gray badges. Why were you never a mark on the TV? Uh, I, my face didn't fit. I didn't, I wasn't really kissing enough ass to do that. So, I didn't make it. Top three Dutch players. Van Gogh and Barney. Uh, Schulten? Yeah, we'll go with that. How long does a typical practice session last for you? It depends where I am. If I'm at home, it'll probably be about an hour and a half. If I'm at the pub, it'll probably be more like three hours. It just depends who I'm with, where I am, and stuff like that. What do I think the next step is for darts to develop? I think what Steve Brown is doing at the moment with the JDC and MAD and stuff, I feel like that is the next step. Uh, as far as anything after that goes, I don't really know. We'll have to see how Steve Brown gets on with all of those bits. But I think Steve's doing good, good stuff at the moment, and I think I think that is the future of darts. Which dart player's shirt do you like the most? Uh, I really like Chizzy's shirt. I think Chizzy's got a pretty pretty nice shirt. But anyway guys, that is today's video. Those are all of my questions that I've answered with you guys. Um, some of them, if you asked me a question and it wasn't in this, it's just because it was like a duplicate of a question that I'd already answered, so apologies for that. But anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like on it if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're brand new and let me know in the comment section below if you've got any more questions for me and I will try my best to answer them in an upcoming video. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!